A really nice way of figuring out probability is by using probability trees. If you've never heard of probability trees before, I think you're going to like them. Let's try it on game idea number one. In this game, the contestant will roll two regular six-sided dice. And if they get doubles, then they win a nice prize. Otherwise, they'll win nothing. To begin, it would be helpful if we could first figure out all of the possible results. For the first roll, there are six different possibilities. That is one, two, three, four, five, or six. Good. We've actually just drawn the first branches of our tree. Well done. And now, let's deal with the second roll. No matter what our first roll was, the second roll is independent of those, as in it isn't affected by the first roll. And so once again, the second dice roll could still have six different possibilities, namely one, two, three, four, five, or six. And here's how we draw this. If the first roll was a one, this branch here, then the second roll could still be a one, two, three, four, five, or six. Nice. And if the first roll was a two, then the second roll is still either a one, two, three, four, five, or six. And we can do this for every one of the first roll's options. And there it is. We've completed our probability tree. Nice. Every unique branch there represents each of the unique possibilities. For example, take this branch here. This branch represents getting a 5 on the first roll and a 3 on the second roll. And this branch here represents getting a 6 on the first roll and a 6 again on the second roll. Anyway, as you can hopefully see, a probability tree shows all of the possible outcomes and is a great way to see what's going on. For example, if we counted all the branches, we'd find that there are 36 different possibilities, which is what we'd expect. But we could do more than that. For instance, the question we want to figure out is, what's the probability a person wins the game? And they win by getting doubles. Hmm, what do you think? Why don't you pause the video so you can try and figure it out, and when you're ready, you can click play to find out. Well, the beauty of a probability tree is that it shows us all of the branches, or all of the different possibilities. And when we look at the branches, we can see six outcomes or branches that have doubles. And so, the probability of getting doubles is six out of the 36. Or when we reduce that, we get one out of six, or approximately 17%. Anyway, if you got that, way to go. As you can hopefully see, Probability trees are very visual and often very nice to work with. Now, some of you might be wondering, wait, couldn't we have used something like the table we made before to figure this out? And we could see the doubles are right here on the diagonal? <laughs> Absolutely. That would have been very quick if we had that table handy. However, even still, not all questions are this straightforward to answer. And you'll see what I mean in the next video.